Today, I'm hopping aboard a ferry across the San Diego Bay to the lovely seaside town of Coronado. So join me on my first ever ferry trip in California. Let's go. I start my journey today at San Diego's Broadway Pier. The Broadway Pier is around two blocks away from the Santa Fe Depot. While being on the smaller side, the Broadway Pier still has everything you need. There are ticket offices as well as an information center and a souvenir shop. As we hop on board, I think I should provide a bit of context on what ferry I'm taking today. The ferry I'm taking is operated by Flagship Ferry. They operate two routes here in San Diego. I'm taking the longest route out of the two, which is between Broadway Pier and Coronado. They offer another shorter route between the Convention Center and Coronado. Using other ferries that I have taken before, like in New York or in London, as a benchmark, Flagship Ferry seems to market their ferries as more leisure-based activities, calling them cruises on their website instead of routes or ferries. But then again, we are in California, so what is there to expect? After heading on board, I make my way to the upper deck, which is my go-to spot on ferries, as not only does it help me not get seasick, I also get to enjoy the view. Let's take a quick look around our seat before we depart. First things first, legroom is definitely not an issue. There is plenty of space for me to stretch out. As for the seats, calling them comfortable is a bit of an overstatement, but then again, on a short ferry ride, comfort isn't something I'm worried about at all. Time to explore this ferry a bit and see what it has to offer. First up are these beautiful views of the San Diego Bay. I think these are the best views I have ever seen from a ferry. Heading downstairs, we can find the rest of the amenities on board this ferry, which include a vending machine, as well as a area to store your bikes and some seating.
So as we approach Coronado, what do I think about the ferry and would I recommend it? Well, the trip overall was pretty great. The views were stunning, as always, and there were no issues whatsoever. But let's get to the price. It's $7 one way, and according to the website, children under 4 ride for free. While for 10 minutes, this is not the most expensive I've seen so far, it's not exactly what I would call cheap. Either way, I still would recommend this as I would for any ferry trip because the views are just that good. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it a bit informative as well as entertaining. If you did, I hope you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This is the 4905 here and I will see you next time. Take care.